What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so this is the situation we have right here. This is Invest 99L. And ladies and gentlemen, this system is rapidly organizing. This thing has really ramped up since last night. If we take a look at the NHC, we have a 70. Yes, a 70% chance, your eyes are not deceiving you. A 70% chance of development in the next 48 hours. It was at 40 yesterday. Now it is at 70. So we need to pay very close attention. I think this thing's going to turn into a tropical cyclone. The question is how strong. Until we get further information from the hurricane hunters, we don't know. But in the time being, that's what we're looking at right now. Let's go ahead and go back to the satellite imagery. And I want to show the evolution of this system for you guys. We're going to go back to 120 frames just to show you the context of this because this is where it was last night and things were starting to uh, starting to develop, but the convection was kind of dying off. But then, the, or like 3 in the morning, this thing started really bubbling up and this is what's warranting this explosive amount of chance increase right here. And ladies and gentlemen, look at his, this right now. This is now a very robust invest. The convection of this is, uh, we're cracking minus 80 cloud tops in some areas right here. We're at minus 70 to minus 80 cloud tops. This thing's going to continue developing. Uh, we're not sure if it's a we have a closed circulation or not. We're going to have to wait for the hurricane hunters to get in there. In fact, they are on their way right now. They just they departed Biloxi a little while ago. Uh, they are on their way. They are in the Gulf of Mexico. And as soon as we get that information from the hurricane hunters, we will update you here on Pat's Path Predictor. But with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the waters because... This thing's about to enter the warmest water in the all the Atlantic Ocean right here. We're looking at 86 degrees through the majority of its track, which that combined with the low wind low wind shear right here, which is around 15, 10 to 15 knots. Uh, that's if this thing can organize quickly, we could see some very very robust intensification, ladies and gentlemen. And that is of course something we do not want to see so close to land right here because this is in the Bay of Campeche. It's about to enter the warmest water. It's about to enter some pretty weak wind shear. We're going to have to wait and see what happens with this, but for the time being, I want everyone from the t from the southeastern Texas coast all the way down all the way down to the to Veracruz, I want everyone there to pay attention to this because if this thing becomes a tropical depression and it continues to organize like this, it could become our next named tropical storm. I'm not saying that it will, but there's certainly a possibility here. With that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the tracks and the intensity of this uh, uh, due to the courtesy of tropical tidbits, ladies and gentlemen. The track models have this thing making landfall in northwest eastern Mexico right here, just uh, about 50 miles off uh, south of the border from Texas, which means Texas is going to start seeing some of those impacts right there. We're just going to have to continue to stay vigilant. We're going to have to take continue to take a look at it. The intensity models are also interesting. Majority of the models keep it down at tropical depression strength, which I certainly think is a possibility, but I think there's an equal possibility of this thing organizing and strengthening. If this thing becomes a tropical depression by this afternoon or even tonight, then it'll start then it can start organizing, start developing, start intensifying. That's basically it, but if it becomes a tropical depression by tomorrow, it's not going to have that much of a window to do that. But considering how fast this thing is, is continuing to organize quite, uh, mind you, and with the hurricane hunters out there, if we start seeing a, the an evidence of a closed circulation, we're going to have to wait and see when it comes to that. Uh, hurricane hunters will see what's going on, and we'll report it once again here on the Pat's Path Predictor channel. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and take a look at our other area of interest I've been keeping an eye on. This is the tropical wave in the central uh, in the central Atlantic right here. If this thing will actually load, thank you very much. And as you can see, the convection's really been bubbling up for the last day or so, and things have been starting to get a little more interesting. It has died off here, but it's starting to bubble up more here, which before it was kind of like a dry tropical wave, and... We're going to have to pay attention to this now. And this was, and now we have convection. So I think once it crosses into the Caribbean, that's when the NHC will start issuing potential areas of interest because we've had model runs for the last several days detecting this potentially becoming a hurricane or, uh, or something along those lines. But we won't know for certain until we cross into the Caribbean, until we start seeing more broad rotation going on. So that's pretty much where we are with this video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps me out and helps me make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. 
Be sure to subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, and as soon as those Hurricane Hunters are done, we will put it, uh, another video up on the Pat's Path Predictor channel. It is now watch time, watch time, watch time. But with that being said, have a wonderful day. Stay safe.